got today, boys? The Arc Captain Cut 55 Pro and the Arc Captain Auto Darkening Helmet. So we got the torch with a guide on it. A little safety here. Air connector, electrical connectors, extra tips, and a wrench for the ground clamp. Hose. Ah, oh, nice dust cover, huh? Little strap, 120 to 240 adapter. The manual. And the cutter. This thing is so lightweight, it's amazing. And you can control it by Bluetooth. Water separator with a drain on it. Pressure regulator for your air. So the specs for this Arc Captain 55 Pro plasma cutter on the bottom. So it looks like 60% at 55 amps, which isn't terrible. That's actually pretty good. 100% at 43 amps if you're using 240. Nice little unit. Right on the front there, as you can see, 120 volts, you can cut up to a half an inch. And 240 volts, you can cut up to three quarter. These things used to cost a ton of money. Like my old girl here, the old Thermal Dynamics. This one's a Cutmaster 38. This thing was over $1,000, closer to 2,000. This is a 55 amp, and it's only a few hundred dollars. And this will outcut that. And it comes with a three year warranty. Got the air supply hose connected. Put my fitting on the end, connected to the regulator. Connect our controller plug here, positive wire here. Our hose to the gun here. Snug it up a little bit and our ground connection Check this helmet out extra protector got the inner shield too stickers and a manual Pretty snazzy looking helmet though <laughs> It's got a flip stop so when you flip it up it'll latch itself so you can keep it loose enough If you like to have it where you nod your head and it flips back down you can adjust the tension it looks like you got a short, middle, and long delay. You got sensitivity low to high. And you have a switch weld is over here. And grind is there. And then on the other side, you have your DIN level. Looks like from 9 to 13. Headband adjustment. Top of head adjustment. Very nicely engineered. There's a little solar panel up there that dims it. We'll see how it works pretty soon. Now let's download the app. There's a QR code at arccaptain.com. It'll direct you to the Play Store so you can download it. Let's register an account. There it is. Now let's connect to the plasma cutter. There's the plasma cutter Bluetooth. And it looks like we're connected. Click the 30 amp. It shows cut. It'll give you a diagram. All right, confirm. Now we can do cutting current operation mode or post flow time. There's the cutting current up to 55 amps, of course. We'll put it down to about 36 for the small tin and lighter stuff. Now let's see how this actually works with the app. Pretty responsive. We will change this to 2T, so when you let off the trigger, it'll stop. On 4T, when you hit the trigger, it starts going. You have to hit the trigger again for it to stop. Post flow for the air, we'll leave that alone. And as you can see, you have work time up there in the corner. So we're set at 90 pounds right now. Let's turn the unit on. Don't think we need quite 55. Well, let's cut it down to, let's do 40 for the smaller stuff. So let's see. 0 0.0745 inch. That's a quarter inch. 0.378. So what is that? Three eighths. And this is the only neck size up I have. Sorry. It's actually a little over an inch. I guess we'll see if it'll cut through it anyway. That's like butter. Literally like butter. Next up.
that was good. Now you want to see if you can cut this big old piece of one inch. Not sure about this one. Here goes nothing. So not quite, but boy, that's pretty close. Let's see what it looks like through the helmet. Let's see if I can do it. What it looks like does a pretty darn good job this is the cut of the tin quarter inch cut of course the more steady you are moving the better the cut comes out three eighths and there's the one inch cut it would have made it through except that last piece it lost the arc at the very end pretty darn good and after all that cutting didn't even kick the fan on whisper quiet I'd say it does what it claims. I'll have the links down below if you're interested. It is Vin Chiesel approved. And I do think I am going to replace this unit with my thermal dynamics because it does cut more. Must have some big capacitors because I unplugged this about 30 seconds ago. I even shut the power off. <laughs> there it is. Must have some big capacitors in that power supply, boys, which is actually a good thing. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.